From afar, this may look like a poaching incident, where criminals illegally hunt down elephants for their tusks. But luckily this time, these are the good guys. This is part of a 12-month joint project between the government and the Worldwide Fund. 60 elephants are expected to be collared in and surrounding the Saloon National Park. The collar is an, it's a, called Iridium collar that has a set, it, it uh, connects with a satellite and that satellite conveys messages and then that, that message is transmitted to a receiver. This will enable reserve management and government ranges to track elephant movements, identify and act against threats in real time. They say the use of satellite collars is a proven effective measure to monitor wildlife movements and provide enhanced security. According to a 2016 WWF report, Tanzania has lost 60% of its elephants in the last 10 years. But in recent years, the government and stakeholders have been fighting back and things are getting better. Recent crackdowns on elephant task dealers and ivory bands in China, Britain and other developed countries, which were the biggest market, have reduced the pace of elephant numbers declined. But this conservationist says there is still more to be done. And I believe the best way to uh, counter-attack poaching is through intelligence work in the villages. Remember, the, you know, the country is huge, so you do need to focus, and poachers always start in villages. Experts say more than 140,000 savannah elephants were poached for ivory between 2007 and 2014. On average, one elephant is killed every 15 minutes. In the market, as I said, it's a global um, uh, syndicate. The movement of ivory from source country to market is a very, very complicated uh, system because it is an underground business. The fight to save Tanzania's elephant appears to be gaining momentum, but poachers have been killing elephants for more than a century. So it is hoped that with each tagged elephant, the tide will continue to turn for this land giant. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.